it's been really, really lovely. I do feel they could have made me work a little bit harder. Um, and I felt that when they're treating you so well, you feel terribly guilty not doing enough. So I would have done more schools and things. But it's really nice. And it is an interesting mix of writers. Um, and there are writers that I wouldn't usually get to meet because a lot of what I tend to do, uh, because I write a lot of crime fiction, I'll often be surrounded by mystery writers. And so I don't necessarily get to sit with Icelandic poets or, you know, uh, people who've recreated Peter Pan or uh, last night at dinner, someone who'd written a book about Tarkovsky and somebody who'd written a book about Afghanistan. You know, suddenly you're getting all of these other influences. And you know, writers are odd people. We spend a lot of time sitting in rooms by ourselves. Um, and so, so and some of us should just be left in those rooms and not meet people at all because we shouldn't be allowed to play with other children. But most of us like interacting. And so to come to a festival like this where you meet lovely readers and, and, and meet kind of interesting writers, um, you come back from it, kind of, it's not just a free holiday, you come back kind of broadened by the experience. It gives you a slightly different view on the world. Well, that was always, the other thing sometimes with these things, the sessions can get a bit worthy. You know, and I think we're always conscious of the fact that it's quite nice to throw in one where it, you're just kind of joking for an hour. And, you know, literature doesn't always have to be very serious discussions, you know, because no more than every time we pick up a book, we, we expect it to weigh like, you know, three tons and have 1,800 pages. Sometimes it's nice just to be entertained. Oh, I'd love to come back here yeah. again. Yeah, I think it would be, and I'd love to see the mix of a different mix of writers. You know, to suddenly come back and and and, and encounter a whole range of people that I've never met before. No, it's not. Like, and the curious thing was, I, I Dubai was much quirkier than I expected it to be. I suppose from from Europe, it seems. We, we, like any, we tend to look upon the Middle East as one kind of big amorphous mass and, and Dubai is such an interesting curious city that I'd love to come back and see more of it. That's my only regret. I didn't really have time to see very much of it and I would like to be able to just wander off and explore it a bit more. So yeah, maybe if they have me back in a few years it would be lovely to do that. This year is a year of experiments. Um, I didn't write any books to contract. I wrote um, the last of a little series of children's books I've done uh, called The Creeps, which will come out this year. I collaborated with my other half, my partner Jenny. Uh, we wrote a book together because I wanted to write a science fiction novel for kind of aimed more or less at older teenage girls. I wanted to explore something completely different. And so that will probably come out this year. And I've written a book about a First World War veteran being haunted by monsters and um, so it, it, I would think it, for writers, I go to the gym occasionally, not as much as I should, <laughs> and um, if you just exercise one set of muscles, you know, the, the other muscles atrophy and that muscle gets tired, you alternate and I think it's good for writers to step out of their comfort zone, you know, and not just write the thing you know you can do and that's got to sell books and pay your mortgage. It's good to take chances because writers should always be learning. In the same way readers, you should always be challenging yourself as a reader a little bit, writers should always be taking chances too. Um, well, there, I don't. I don't give workshops, and I don't because I'm. I, I'm not sure how I write, but I only know two things for certain. The first is that every time I start a book, I get about thirty thousand words into it, and want to throw it away. I completely lose faith in it. Somewhere between ten and thirty thousand words, and I think that's very common for writers. But people who haven't read it, written a book before, sometimes think, "Oh, I must have made a mistake, and this isn't the book to write," and they leave it unfinished and they'll start something else. Because as soon as you start writing a book you get this siren call of the new idea, you'll think, actually, this new idea I have is much better than the old one, you know? That's never the case. Uh, writers finish books, you know, painters finish paintings, poets finish writing poems. If you leave it unfinished, you'll learn nothing from it. So if you start something, you have to finish it. That's all I know.